Uh, this is number seven. Uh, this time we have a quadratic, but it's in two different trig functions. Um, so you want them to be in the same trig function, otherwise you can't factor this. So we're gonna change sine squared x. Um, remember this identity, this is cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals one. That means sine squared x, oops, you can't see it. Remember this identity, cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals one, which means sine squared x equals one minus cosine squared x. Right? There's no trig identity, well, I guess there is, but it's a bigger pain to change cosine x to the single power to sine x. So uh, there's like square roots of something, I don't know. All right, so I want to do this substitution. I'm going to replace sine squared x with one minus cosine squared x. Okay, let's simplify some. Leave the leading term, leading, that lead, whatever, all right, uh, I guess nothing happens there, and negative 3 and 2 makes negative 1, um, when I factor quadratic, I prefer the leading coefficient to be positive, so I'm going to go ahead and change all the signs, remember you can't just change one sign, you got to change them all, if you want to change one, okay, this one's pretty easy to factor, there's no choice for 2 cosine squared x. It's 2 cosine x times cosine x, and there's no choice for the 1. Okay? And that positive means they have to be the same sign, so it has to be negative. Because we have a negative term in the middle. Let's double check. Inside gives me negative cosine x, the outside gives me negative 2 cosine x, negative 1 cosine x, and negative 2 cosine x gives me the negative 3 cosine x. Set each factor equal to 0. So, when is cosine x equal to 1 half? That's going to be the first and fourth quadrant. So, and this is what? The pi, okay, pi 6 is sine, so this is the pi thirds. Pi thirds and 1 pi thirds shy of 2 pi thirds would be 1, 6, 5 pi, 5 pi, 5 pi, 3. Over here, cosine x equals 1, that only happens once in a period of 0 to 2 pi, and that's at happens twice, 0 and 2 pi. So it kind of depends on if I'm, when I chose my range of values, whether I actually include 2 pi or not. Ah, just in case, we'll just go ahead and include it. All right, that's number seven, and number eight's going to be ugly, so we're going to put that one on its own video.